Okay, I think that chocolate cake is just about finished. Let me go check it in the oven. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. All right, I see that it's, it's starting to pull away from the side of the pan a little bit. I'm gonna grab a knife and just check it for doneness really quickly. Yeah, the knife comes out clean. So a couple crumbs, not a big deal. It's, what you're looking for is a little bit of moisture, but it looks totally finished. I'm gonna set this aside to cool completely. I'm gonna run a little spatula around the outside to loosen it from the sides of the pan completely. And then once it's cooled, we're gonna take it, put it on a plate, and give it a little dusting of powdered sugar. We're gonna take it out of the pan by inverting it onto a plate and then putting it, reverting it back onto the serving plate that we're gonna use. I'm gonna loosen it from the sides with the offset spatula. Now I'm gonna take a plate, turn the cake over onto the plate, listen for it to fall out, make sure that that happens. You wanna, you wanna pull off the parchment paper. You do wanna handle the cake gingerly at this point. But I think it's gonna be really nice. It's got a great texture and a great appearance. You clean up any crumbs that you have. And just, this is a simple cake. You can serve it with a little bit of, uh, you can serve it with a little bit of ice cream or just this confectioner's sugar. It would be awesome with coffee ice cream. You know, there's already coffee in the recipe, but a little bit of coffee on top of, uh, coffee ice cream on the side would really just put it over the edge. Um, but it's nice, it's a simple cake, it's really straightforward, you can bake it even if you're not an expert baker. Great flavor, people are gonna go crazy over this one. That's the rich chocolate cake.